Hey, what's up, guys? So, um, this is just a uh, one input, one, <laughs> one bit implementation of my uh, last architecture. So basically, we got the outputs: register one, register two, and the AOU's output. And then we have the uh, two selectors: the A selector, which um, takes one of those three inputs, and then selects one of them to be the output of the A selector and then then <laughs> and then there's the uh, B selector and then it takes you know the three inputs and then chooses one of them to be the output and um, yep and then this uh, selects one function to perform to these two inputs and then the clock you know, changes the memory, and then the right to this. This is kind of just that was lazy, so I just put that right there. Just, I mean, you, I kind of need it, but I didn't want to incorporate it into any of the other inputs. I could have, but yeah. So that basically that writes a one to the A selector, and um, yeah, that's about it for that. So let's just show some functions and um, so first let's select like uh, the this let's select uh, register 2 which is 1 so we select register 2 one zero, and then let's select register 1 one one, and then we'll perform XOR and then calculate and then when we activate the clock it gives us zero because one in one XOR is zero. And then now uh, we can do AND and then activate the clock and it's still doing one in one and it is one. And then uh, let's try this. Let's uh, okay, let's show the to register function and then we uh, take off. We don't need the B selector because it's just taking whatever you select in the A selector and sending it to whatever register you want. So, yeah, sending it to a register, and then so we select the we select register two. Well, actually, register two already has one. So let's just clear the registers first, and um, then we'll. See, so we just wrote a zero because we have nothing selected. We just wrote a zero to register two, and then um, now we're writing to register one. And uh, let's activate the clock, and uh, there you go, zero again. And so let's select register one, and then we uh, we're sending it to register. <laughs> I mean output, and then we're sending it to register one. Actually, we're selecting. Yeah, whoops. Output, and let's send it to register 1. There you go. Yep, so that's about, oh, right, the uh, right to. So that's just writing a num, uh, this is writing a 1 to the A, and then we can send that to 2. We activate the clock, and it puts a 1. In the reg in register two. Okay, let's see some of the. Uh, stuff going on. Behind the hood. So uh, let's. See. Uh, this is the output bus. This is. Um, the output register. This is. Register two. And this is register one. And then it goes into these two selectors. Uh, this is the A selector, these three, and that's the right, the right to function, and it just writes the one that's writing right now. And then the uh, B selector, so the B selector does one thing, it goes into the B input of the AOU, and the way I've implemented the AOU is it's just a half adder, and it, this bit right here acts as XOR and this bit is AND. So then I just select between the AND and the XOR and that becomes the output. 
Um, we have, I could do any bitwise operations, but I just my act the four bit has and has uh, adding and subtracting, so I just decided to do two functions. Um, yeah, and, just, yeah. and then um, there's the A selector, which goes into the A input of the ALU, and then it also goes into the two registers which are just, uh, you know, vertical D flip-flops that, um, they change on the clock to whatever value is there in the A selector. And then all these inputs are encoded, so it's easier to use. And, um, yeah, that's about it for the 1-bit CPU. And I hope that was easier to understand than my last uh, video. Yeah, and then I want to talk about some plans. So, basically, I'm going to have uh, two screens, and um, oh, I'm making a 16 bit CPU with Duelmeister 15, and it will run kind of like an OS, and so that will be cool. And it will be, it'll have two screens. And those screens will be able to display a letter or a number. And then based off of an input, you know, one or zero, and some other inputs, um, you'll be selecting one of the two screens. And then you can access things like if you select this one, you'll be directed to files. And if you select this one, you'll be directed to programs. And then within that, there will be programs that you can run. Or files that you can access. Yeah, so that's about it for this video. Great comment, subscribe, and uh, see you when I make the 16-bit.